So, oh, I should also make another... Oh, I gotta readjust my chair. I should also make another stone pickaxe. Um, let me go grab some bamboo for that. But I, uh, in between episodes, I upgraded our, uh, well, I guess not upgraded. I decorated our portal. So, uh, in the last episode, or the episode before that, or whenever, I, I was wondering what a completed portal would look like. So I looked through a bunch of the, um, the, the, the renders of the different portal, like, destroyed portal designs, and I picked one that I could fill in and extrapolate and figure out what the rest of it looked like. So we have one that's, uh, we have one that's, like, a completed, uh, portal. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Um, so you, um, where do you want me to put my nether rack? Uh, throw it in this chest here. Okay. Yeah, um... Sweet. Let's see. I should probably make another stone pickaxe because mine's pretty low. Alright, you are very quiet. Okie dokie, I will move- try to move my <laughs> microphone a bit. That sounds a lot better. Plus I was kind of talking and need my breath. Ah. So yeah, you should come there. check out, uh, check out how our portal looks. I- I- I looked at the, uh, I looked at all the Be designs. Real. I looked at all the designs that, uh, they had, uh, that are renders from the ones from in the game. And I checked it out and I thought, oh hey, I could build one yeah. of these. So I kind of, uh, filled in what I expected the rest of it probably to look like. Oh, that's kind of like the one I found in the desert, but it had like iron yeah. things the, around the it The larger, the larger ones have the iron fencing. Hello, the, the larger ones have the iron fencing around it. The ones that are this small don't usually have that. So I, this is the general design that I went with. I, um, I haven't done anything the general design. in the nether. I also made it so like, it looks like the nether is kind of like creeping See? out, which I, I kind of like. Um, and then I used some, uh, I made some coarse, Sweet. coarse dirt, so grass won't grow there. <laughs> ah, that made some sense. Yeah, but I think, you um... You use grass, you know. Yeah, so we have a, I have an extra stone cutter because the one place that I don't mind putting cobblestone is in the nether, because you don't get regular stone in the nether anyway. Um, I still don't particularly like how it looks, but it I saves am. a lot of resources to just make a bunch of cobblestone slabs and path everything, or like cover your pathing with cobblestone slabs. Um, so we, we can do that, but I also want to go in and try to get a bunch of, uh, nether, uh, not nether, um, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, uh, soul, uh... Soul soil. I want to get a bunch of soul soil. So that's my next because we can use that and like get that to help us speed up our our walking. So I think that's a, a good idea to try to get a bunch of. And I know I saw oh, some yeah. down there. So I'm gonna make uh I'm gonna make a couple of shovels and I think we should grab some of that. Sweet. Um uh, but you can uh you can try to explore down there on your own without it. Um let me grab some cobblestone. All right. Um, let's grab a bunch of these. And then I guess I'm making three shovels. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, because I, I kind of generally know what I want to do. Anything else? In the nether, but you Anything can... Anything else we should have uh, on us? Uh, make... Uh, do we have any gold? Here, let, um, I'm going to make you like a gold boots or something so that uh you oh, yeah. you can not get attacked by the guys there you go how much yeah, is my well, my other world that's easy because i um already have that yeah yeah we haven't we haven't really come across much i think that the helmet that i have is the only golden thing we've found yeah we haven't re well we haven't really explored very much so meaning we haven't really found many Broken portals. Yeah, yeah. And other stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to go Please in the Nether it. here and try to just collect a bunch of soul soil. Um, it's really funny because uh, there was there was a wandering trader, and he went in the portal without his uh, yeah. without his without his llamas. Oh my gosh! So the the wandering trader's in the Nether, but his his llamas are up there. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> I had, I 
left my doors accidentally open in my other world, so I had a wandering travel traveler inside my house. That's hilarious. It's really weird. He kept on grunting at me <laughs> and standing on my furnace. All right, I saw. It's like really? I I'd rather take the soul soil and use that rather than soul sand. Soul sand is good for oh, making. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Okay, I need to be careful about this because. Warning, trader murmurs. Um, let's see. Hopefully, this is generally safe. There we go. Uh, I'm not gonna get that one because it's out over the lava. And we've got some more over here. So, uh, another cool thing you can do with these, um, these piglins over here, not the zombie ones, but these regular guys, you can toss yeah. out, uh, yeah. you can toss a gold, uh, ingot at them and they will trade items with you. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, also, don't mine any, <laughs> don't mine any diamond, or not diamond, uh, gold when you're near them, because they will attack you. Gold around them? Yeah. Lovely. So I'm just taking- remember that. I'm just taking a bunch of the soul sand, or soul soil. Uh, you can tell the difference because you can walk, when you're on the soul okay. sand, you walk slowly. Um, and it has, uh, it has the souls- yeah, I kinda got that. It has the faces of the souls of the damned in it. <laughs> Soil. Yeah, well, sand. The soil is this stuff here, and it doesn't really have faces in it. Sand. <laughs> but they generally Still. they generally do the same thing. Uh, they're both used for making blue fire, uh, soul flame. Um, and ah. that okay. uh, soul flame or soul flame torches and stuff are what you what you use in the Nether to to ward off monsters. Just like in the regular oh, overworld, you use sweet. regular flames. Or regular torches. You use soul torches down here. Regular torches, okay. And they're blue, so they look cool. Soul torches. I don't know if you saw some of the blue fire sweet. that was kind of off in the distance over there, but uh, that's generally yeah, what... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, I also got some diamond. So what we want to do is we want to make a uh, diamond pickaxe, and we, we want to get a enchant... We want to get an enchanting table... Um, to, to make use of, to make use of our soul sand here, we want to get, uh, soul, what, soul speed or something? I, f I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then that'll, uh, boost our speed when we're walking on this dirt. And then, the cool thing is we can just put, uh, we can put, Lovely. like, slabs and stuff on top of it to decorate it so it doesn't look like dirt. <laughs> Sweet. All right. What do we have out over here? There. I widened our staircase a bit, so now it's too wide at the bottom. All right. So I don't feel so treacherous. Looks like I'm... So many zombie piddlins. Yeah, they're, they're a little annoying. They made so weird of noises. Oh, hey, here's Al. Skeleton. Don't injure yourself. Well, I didn't injure myself. A skeleton injured me. I found a, uh, I found a rib bone. <laughs> a giant rib bone up here. I have no idea where you went. Oh, you're up there. Yeah. I didn't dare go searching like this in Crazyville. Yeah, I mean... Oh, there's another rib bone over here, too. Uh, you just have to kind of be careful and then not- I see my way a bit more. Did I just hear a ghast? Oh. Okay. Um, here's some more soul soil. That's easily takeable. What is this stuff growing? Is that their version of grass? Uh, which- which stuff? Basically, the red stuff. It looks like red grass. Oh, yeah, that's, um... I that's what it is. It kind of, uh... It's... It's Crimson Roots. They're, uh, it's from the Crimson... The Crimson Biome. It's, um... It, it's basically okay. tree roots. Oh. Yeah, but it, it, it functions... It functions as decorative, so it's... It's very similar to, uh... Ah. Yeah. 
It's very similar to just like Sweet. grass on the overworld. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was just wondering. Yeah, and then these this here is a, a giant bone. <laughs> Yay, giant bone. Um, let's see. All right, there's our. There's where our portal is. Oh. All right, there's a skeleton down there trying I to shoot at us. Skelly, bro. Yeah, it's down down there. All right. Lovely. Also, always be careful where you're walking, and always look down because a hole can be anywhere. Especially since we're not down at lava level. I am. Uh, falling, falling kind of sucks. Yeah. I kind of doubt that probably would be the thing. Oh, hello. Ooh, I see a different biome. Um, maybe. Where are you at? Uh, did you go around this lava here? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there you are. I went over the- around a little lava. Uh, yeah, that's the crimson biome. The crimson forest. Sweet! Yeah, uh, Yay! there's- there's pigs that My will- My type of place. There's- there's, uh, like, nether boars that will spawn over here, so be careful, they're very dangerous. Oh, those things. Yeah. The, the evil things. Uh, yeah, Ooh, there's trees to cut down and stuff. Yeah, and there's this here, which is a sh well, they're they're kind of like mushrooms technically. Here's a shroom light. These are oh, yeah. you can take these and yeah. use them as uh, use them as lighting sources. They're kind of cool. Um, so pickaxe sword. What do I uh, need? I think I think technically a hoe, but I think you can just break it. Yeah, shroom light. Break it with your hand. Yeah, you can break it with your hand. Here's a, Sweet. there you go, shroom light. Yay! And now I need to find these in my, my <laughs> other world. Yeah. They're so me. Hello, skeleton. I'm learning oh, stuff I, I want. Just barely. Skelly bro! <laughs> I just, uh, oh, that was a zombified piglin. Okay. Every time I hear zombified piglins, I think they're ghasts for some reason. But I'm like, the ghasts make a very high-pitched squeal sound, so. Oh. They are, they're probably the most annoying enemies in the nether, the ghasts are. Uh, because they shoot fireballs Lovely. that blow up the scenery. But you can't hit them back at oh, them. Oh, those things. Yeah, the, they're giant, they're giant ghosts. The giant ghost things. Yep. And I'm just gonna get three, Three shovels worth of soul sand or soul soil here, so we can use this for pathing and things like that. Okay. This is useful mm. for a lot of things. Uh, you yeah, I, you can make um, so to make a torch, you have to put soul sand or soul soil underneath the torch while you're making it, or maybe you put it after you make the torch. I don't remember, but it's uh, either way, you you do that and then it turns into a blue torch. Uh, you can also do it with campfires. Um, yeah. And that stuff is, uh, useful for- Oh, you've got a- you've got a little friend. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. That's a baby piglin. Oh, okay. yeah. They, they- I have a baby piglin. <laughs> yeah, they don't, uh, they don't grow up, actually, if I- if I remember correctly. If... They're not, oh, uh- interesting. Oh, hello. But, yeah, don't attack it, because if there's a piglin nearby, it will attack you. <laughs> oh, we got, like, a- we got, yeah, like- Yeah, I kinda got that. I was like, what the heck? We got, like, a whole rib bone over here. It just- Yeah, it's- I feel like a giant ate the, you know, Sunday roast. <laughs> so, Basically, how- you know? how these- how these guys work, the zombie piglins, they are passive unless you attack yeah. one. And if you attack one, all zombie or all oh, yeah. zombie piglins in the area will swarm you. So you kind of need to be careful not to Lovely. not to attack so, them. Don't attack zombie piglins unless you're prepared and want like Good to know. unless you're prepared and want their drops. Like you can't. They are kind of useful for getting like gold, oh, yeah. gold, gold and stuff. You can get gold swords and things out of them. Um, but usually, what you want to do is yeah. kind of build up a little. Uh, a little area to, um, you want to build up a little area to, like, fight them off before you do that. 
to fight them off. Yeah. And get the stuff from. Mm-hmm. Looks like we're still going more up. I think we're generally, for the most part, di uh, directly above where our... Uh, we're kind of above... Where our stuff is? Yeah, I think it's off this it's direction. Just, we're just going up slowly. Yeah, we do kind of want to make giant, sure... giant, um... We do want to make sure we know where we are re relative to our base so we can get back. Um, I yeah. I forgot to write down the coordinates of our of our sp of our spawn location. Um, Lovely. I should probably go back and do that. Let me go. Sure. Yeah, just so that we know how to get back. Uh, also, these vines. If I remember correctly, you can climb up these vines. Yeah, the vines are nice to get because you can use I them as- I think they probably just like all the other vines in the game. Um, these ones- You climb them up. These ones you can kind of- yeah, a lot of the vines- there, There's a few vines I think you can't climb, but they're- they're generally pretty good. Um, also, I'm oh, yeah. going to- I'm gonna make this lava here a little bit safer. Uh... There we go. That'll get rid of that big lava patch right there. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I can put I can put all this soul soil that I got away. Um, Sweet. Okay, yep, there's our staircase. Wait, how do I get down from... Oh, it's around this way. That's right. Um, it's over... I think it was over here. Yeah, there it is. That's how I get back. Uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna wanna write down our <laughs> write down our location so we don't get lost. Write down our location. Yeah. So the um the Nether is a different size than the Overworld. Uh, the Nether is smaller. Okay. And by by oh, that okay. I mean that like for every one block you travel here, you're traveling eight blocks in the overworld. So like it's scaled up by eight per uh, eight times. Okay. Yeah. So that's a general uh, knowledge to know. So it's a very general good way. It's a very good way to like. Thumb. It's a well. It's a it's a really good way to fast travel long distances. Because you're traveling eight times faster when you're down here. So if you need to get to a really far location, you can set up a portal in both places. And, uh... Oh, we got a piglin out here in the overworld. There we go. I killed it. Um, oh, that's oh, right. no, piglin! I was going to check our coordinates here. Uh, our coordinates are, um, 22... Oh my gosh, I had a... 22, negative 18. Jelly bro attacked me, and I seriously jumped. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, 20, 22, negative 18. I don't know why I jumped. It's pretty close to zero, zero, so... Okay. If you... Oh, I can get some, uh, I can get some... What, flame powder, or flame, flame, whatever, fire, uh, magma, magma powder. There we go. I got a uh, fire uh, lava slime or whatever they're called. Magma cube. That's it. Oh. There we oh, go. Oh, I see it. There we go. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, could you guys get off of the magma? That would be great. <laughs> I mean, I could just crouch and fight them there, but... There we go. Uh, I probably- we probably want to remove all of this. Just so that it's, uh, we don't have to worry about... Um, stepping on it and taking damage. Dealing with it? Yeah. Why are the pigs all squealing? <laughs> I don't know. 
These are also very useful Produce for... Produce like super squeal. Yeah, the, these are also very useful for a lot of things, so having a bunch of them is a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you uh, take a little bit of damage when you... When you do that, so the, yeah, that's right. the the there's a handful of really yeah. important things to find here in the Nether. So to to finish the game, we need to we need to come here and get uh, blaze rods. I am. Um, we can uh, blaze rods and uh, blaze rods and um, ne uh, ender ender pearls are used to make eyes of ender, which lead you to the end of the game. But another thing that we I can am. get here that's pretty important is netherite, which is an upgrade to diamond armor, which makes it... To netherrack? No, uh, an upgrade to uh, netherite, which is an upgrade to diamond armor. So you apply uh, it you apply I it to diamond armor, and it makes it even stronger than uh, what we had previously. I ran out of... Can you break these and collect it with bare hands? No. All right. Wow, we... Um, I am going still. Yeah, my, uh... <laughs> my stone pickaxe died. Wow, there's a lot in I here. I had multiple stone pickaxes. Yeah. That's right. All right, that should generally be safe. I'll probably fill this in with, uh... Nether... Or, uh, netherrack... As we... As we go. Just so that it's not a huge hole in our, uh... Our area here. What is this black one? Uh, that's blackstone. Uh, it's the nether's version of stone. So it, uh, you, oh. you can use it to make, um, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a bit darker than deep slate. Oh, I have to see. So it, it functions like deep slate, but it's a little bit darker color. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And I believe it's a, nice uh, to know. yeah. So that's, that's generally our stuff here. Um, oh crap. What's that? That's the ghast. Oh, hello, you. Ow. It's that thing. under the lava. All right, I think we should leave. <laughs> yep. Uh, I need to. I am. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> but we kind of generally got what we came for, um, or got what or got what we I wanted. We explored, we found stuff. You know. Yeah. What we decided we wanted. So I'll probably end up making stairs to go down here, like actual stairs. Uh, yeah, and then, that's what I was thinking. And then probably clear with. this area out so that it's actually more like a room. We got a little nice cave room going on here. Yeah. A little cave room. Yeah. So there's a couple of fun things you can do with uh, with Nether. Oh, hello. Hello, Piglin. There we go. They uh, they can't call them if they're in the overworld, so <laughs> they're they're okay to kill if they're out here. I am. They'll they'll every once in a while just kind of wander in, into there. Um. Okay, I got a bunch of soul soil and some soul sand and some magma blocks. Uh, I'm gonna generally just kind of put everything from the the nether in this one chest for now. For now? Yeah, and then... Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's do it like this. Yeah, it's this bottom one here. Uh, I'm gonna put a... I should probably put a... Um, do I have enough stick? Let's go get some more sticks so I can make another... I can make a... Uh, word that I'm looking for here. Um, oh, there's another... There's another piglin over here. Alright, I'll kill this guy. Oh! Oh, this was a... This was a regular piglin. He came out here and got zombified from the open air. <laughs> oh no! He got zombified! Yeah, um... Mobs that are native to the nether... Most of them will become zombies if they come out to the open air. And that's where... Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, lore stuff. They're... Uh, there's oh, no lore stuff. Th basically, there's, like, an airborne zombie virus here. 
Lovely. And yeah, they're protected from it from the nether. But uh, when you bring something from the nether here, it, it uh, becomes zombified. <laughs> All right, let's make another f item frame. Oh, I forgot to grab the other pieces of wood that I already had. There we go. Oh, and I got another bamboo. All right, let's grab these item frame. Do, do, do. All right, so this one has all the nether. Oh, you got it. You grabbed a lot of stuff from the nether. Yeah, I grabbed random stuff. I like to grab at least three of a certain item usually just to have so I can, you know, yeah, know what yeah. you can do with it. Crimson stem. Nether wart block. That's random in my, my, my rule of thumb yeah. in this game. That, that makes sense. Uh, I have some magma cream. Actually, these are, uh, that's a mob drop, so I'm gonna put it over here with, with this. Alright, there we go. Uh, I also have a gold nugget that I can put away. And a some gold nugget. bones and some rotten flesh. N -n nugget. There we go. And... I love looking at windows at nighttime to see what mobs I can see spawn. <laughs> And then go, ha ha, I'm safe. Alright, so I'm going to... I'm going to make a... Uh, I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe. So I can go down and get some... Uh, so I can make some... Uh, uh, obsidian. Because I actually, you actually have to mine the obsidian to make a... To make a... Uh, uh, an enchanting table. And then I'm going to take some time to... Ah. Then we're going to take some time to build up the uh, enchanting stuff. But it's... You want to go to bed? Sleepy time. Yep. Sleepy time! So now... Uh, I need, I believe, three... Uh, what's the What's the enchanting table recipe Everyone's again? on fire! <laughs> It's like three, it's like two diamonds and two diamonds and three and a book. It's three diamonds. I think it's, is it two or three diamonds and a book and, uh, I think it's. I think it's like three diamonds. I think it's two diamonds, a book, and, and four obsidian, diamonds. if I remember correctly. So I've got my lava buckets. Let's see ya. There we go. Um, let's do. It's not on the thing. Well, yeah, you have to. You have to have obsidian I have to. Have it in my other game. Yeah. I have it in my other game when I have obsidian and boots in my <laughs> treasure chests. Uh, be careful. I'm making lava over here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And... I was just trying not to look at the um, Enderman because I have a really bad ha habit of looking at them um, too long. There's a really easy way to kill them. If you go stand, uh, go stand in the water over here and then look at them. Yeah. Like this. They can't get in the water, so you can just attack them from the water right here. You can also get underneath a t you can also get underneath a two block high uh, area, and they can't get you. Oh, that's nice. No, 